CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 111 through 115 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great. Let's begin. Question 111. A security team is responding to a potential security breach. According to the standard incident response process, which of the following activities should occur first? The answer is A. Detection. Detection is the first critical step in the incident response process. It involves identifying signs that a security incident may be occurring, such as alerts from security tools, user reports, or suspicious system behavior. Without detection, the organization cannot begin analysis, containment, eradication, or recovery. Early and accurate detection is essential to minimize damage and respond effectively. Question 112. A company relies on a legacy system that is critical to daily operations, but the system cannot be replaced or duplicated due to business limitations. Which of the following is the primary concern in this situation? The answer is C. Single point of failure. A single point of failure is any part of a system that, if it fails, causes the entire system or process to stop working. In environments where a legacy system is irreplaceable and supports critical operations, this creates a major vulnerability. If that one system goes down, due to hardware failure, software issues, or even misconfiguration, there may be no alternative to keep operations running. Question 113. An organization is implementing a COPE mobile device management policy to improve control over devices used for both personal and work purposes. In addition to enforcing encryption for corporate data, which of the following should the organization most likely include in the policy? The answer is C. Remote wiping. In a COPE environment, the organization owns the mobile device but allows limited personal use. Since the device contains company data, features like remote wipe are essential. Remote wiping allows the organization to delete corporate data if the device is lost, stolen, or when an employee leaves the company. This helps maintain data confidentiality and security even when the device is used outside of direct corporate control. Question 114. A security administrator observed the above request in a web server log while investigating an incident. Which of the following types of attacks is most likely being attempted? The answer is D. Directory traversal. Directory traversal is an attack that attempts to access files or directories outside the intended web server directory structure by manipulating input fields using relative path sequences, such as dot dot forward slash. These sequences allow an attacker to move backward through the directory tree. The attack targets applications that fail to properly validate or sanitize user input, potentially exposing sensitive files and system data. Question 115. An organization hires a third-party vendor to conduct a penetration test on a specific device. The vendor is given limited but relevant technical information about the device before beginning the assessment. Which of the following best describes this type of penetration test? The answer is B. Partially known environment. A partially known environment penetration test, also known as a gray box test, provides the tester with limited insight into the target system, such as architecture diagrams, credentials, or system details. This simulates an attacker with some internal knowledge, helping organizations assess risks posed by insider threats or compromised user accounts. It strikes a balance between realism and coverage, offering a more efficient and focused test than a fully unknown approach. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, 
Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.